Hello, thanks for watching, and this is uh, like another update, like a continuation video of the previous two videos I did on the uh, HP ProDesk and the upgrade I did. So, uh, obviously, this is the machine now running. I uh, fixed the temper glass on there, and it's looking pretty good. Now, the only issue I've got with this is that uh, the fan, uh, which comes with the MSI case, is great as it is for a cheap uh, kind of budget build. Um, Problem is, is that you actually need an MSI compatible uh, motherboard in order for the fan to work. And then you download uh, software for the fan to work so you can draw it from Windows. So uh, the point of this video is, is just to show you with this particular setup what it can achieve. You know, game wise, uh, through high, low, mid settings, 1080p settings, 720p. So I've um, got some really good performance out of this system which I'm happy with. And of course, um, you know, as time goes on, I'm gonna to continue to upgrade it, make videos, and I'm gonna just show you people uh, what you can do on a budget. And this is a fairly good example of uh, me achieving that. So uh, keep watching the videos. <laughs> So the first game I was pretty impressed about with this setup is Alien vs Predator, and you you know it's um, yeah it's probably an eight nine maybe ten year old's game, but I'm running this one at max settings, and this is also in DirectX 11, which is um, it would have been the latest version of DirectX at the time when this game came out. So we're on now on DirectX uh, 12, I believe. So if we just go to options here, and if we go to video settings, you'll see that this is at the uh, maximum, I believe it's the maximum resolution. And we have shadow complexity, which is on the highest, texture quality is on the highest, uh, anastrophic filtering is on the highest. So everything is running out of the game was originally intended to be so it's played natively essentially. So if I just go to continue and show a bit of the gameplay here. And I'm going to just crank the sound up on this. And here we go. So we go through this first sequence here. So if I just clear this to get into the gameplay. This one takes a little while to pick up, but you'll see in a minute, um, you, you know, I, I move around like I'm doing right now, and it's it's very smooth. I, I don't know if it's uh, coming across on video is smooth, but uh, trust me, it's very smooth. And this particular game, Alien vs Predator, it came out on uh, consoles at the time. In, uh, it was on PS3, Xbox 360. Uh, bought this one cheap uh, recently, a digital copy of it, on uh, Steam. I'm pretty sure it's on Steam. And if you're not aware of uh, Steam, uh, Steam is a website where it's exclusive to PC games. Uh, they don't do console games, it's strictly for PC games. Uh, not sure if they do Mac games, maybe they do some Linux games, but uh, yeah, definitely for PC gaming, uh, that is what Steam does. So I'm going to play this a little bit longer, and I'm a little bit lost right now, I've lost track because <laughs> I've been talking, I do a lot of that uh, recently, a lot of talking. So let's just follow this through. 
this the way. Yeah, okay. So I think generally games of this era uh, will work flawlessly on this setup. And you know, surprisingly this uh, setup, it even re runs some modern games, which I'll show you uh, after this video. So there's a slight uh, frame rate drop here going outside. There's a lot of uh, things going on, which is uh, lots of process for, well, let's face it, a not very good graphics cards. So you've got a lot of um, sort of textures happening all of a sudden out here. You've got textures on the grounds for things to process. You've got uh, clouds in smoke, that sort of type thing. And so it will slow down every occasionally, but I think generally a lot of Alien vs Predator is inside. But you know, uh, by what I see, it is completely playable It full sets. It just slows down ever so slightly when you're in more built up uh, environments. So let's check out the next game. So next up, we have the original Call of Duty Black Ops. And I'm gonna just take you through the settings so you can see here that uh, everything is maxed out. So highest resolution for this game, 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. Uh, anti aliasing I think I'm going to bump this one up if I can and see how it performs. So we're on 16 times, which is the max. And for those watching this, not sure what anti it is, it means that uh, your edges on uh, objects in the game uh, are kind of smoothed out rather than jagged. So the more uh, lysin you have, the more uh, smoothed out it becomes. So aspect ratio, 16 by nine, trilinear, texture filter, uh, that's fine. That's on the max, I believe. Yeah, trilinear. Uh, texture quality extra. So I'm guessing extra is the highest. Everything else is on uh, the highest here. So I was playing this last night just to test it and I'm going to continue from where I was. And I'm going to just go for regular. You know what, sometimes on some of these games it would be so nice if you had the option to quit these cutscenes. Okay, there we go. So I was actually impressed last night when I was playing this game how well it looked and I could reach max settings. Uh, you know, uh, Call of Duty games are uh, some of the nicest lookers, hardest ones to run. Right? 
So you'll see how well this game performs in a moment. Uh, when we go outside, there's lots going on and uh, it runs really smoothly. And if anyone in the comments ask if this machine runs Crisis, yes it does, the original Crisis, not the remaster. And of course, uh, the original Crisis, when it released years ago, was a machine killer, like literally. People like myself were like, I want to run this, how it was intended to run. But back then, when it released, you'd need at least two, three grand's worth of PC. So, yeah. Um, this machine, this system, does run the original Crisis very well. So I'll just show you a bit of this, what's going on outside here. So as you can see, lots going on here. Lots happening on screen, and there's no lag. So of course, by far, this game, and the other games I've got running at max settings, is by far superior than the uh, console counterparts, which could only display um, certain resolutions so you know it's very well known not so much anymore I wouldn't have thought by the seems of it but you know easily 10-15 years ago PC games did look superior I think today they're kind of on par with consoles from what I've seen you know you've got RTX cards which you've got ray tracing in the latest generation consoles so as far as I'm concerned they all look the same and in fact you're probably better off buying a console something like a Series X not sure about PS5 but for what a PC uh, would cost you nowadays. It's just a lot better, easier, and stress free buying a console. So I'm going to just get in the car here. And I'm not using a controller right now, so. I need to establish which button is LT. Uh, there we go. But you get the idea of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops running on this system. It looks pretty good and it runs well. And I just thought I'd do a video of my all-time favourite PC game, which was once an exclusive until it had really bad ports to the PS3 and Xbox 360. This is the original Far Cry. And uh, this game back in the day totally blew me away. So... Yeah, of course, back in 2004, 2005, when this one came out, it was another one of those games where you would need a serious, serious uh, setup to achieve the native resolution, you know, everything else. So I'm going to try this now, and I'm going to go for a uh, maximum resolution. And analyzing, I'm going to go with eight samples. And... If I go to advanced options, I'm going to make sure everything is very high, trilinear, anastrophic filtering level to 8, particle count, yeah, yeah. So everything is maxed out. So I'm going to just... Uh, start off from where our last uh, plays from I'm gonna give you something uh, good to look at here so if i just go from here and this is running the 64-bit uh, amd patch i think it was when it came out and of course back in the day to run uh, a 64-bit processor that's a cpu to, to have one, it was pretty uh, a, a big deal at the time.
So there you go, yeah, it's an old game, but this is natively playing how it was intended to do. So if you had this on lower settings, those birds you can see in the background, they wouldn't be there. Uh, you, you, you know, it looked pretty basic years ago if you had a average uh, PC. So another thing which blew me away when I did manage years ago to get this all running is that there are suddenly fish and there's bubbles. Now if you put this on lower settings, those little things aren't there. So you know, even to this day, I, I, maybe I'm a bit biased with this one, it's a special game to me, but I, I still think it's hoarded, uh, it looks really well considering, uh, what is it, 16, 17 years old? And sort of in my early 20s, whilst at uni, you would find me in my spare time in my bedroom playing this. And I'd play this just relentlessly online on the multiplayer. Pretty much the only game I have bothered with online. So yeah, the AI, AI in this game, that's artificial intelligence, is a bit dumb considering what you've got nowadays, but it's still a challenging game. So yeah. I've not played this one for a while, but I'm not uh, trying to prove myself through gameplay. I'm just showing you uh, what can be achieved with this setup I've got. So yeah, that's Far Cry for you. So next up, I've got Everspace. And, you know, it's a, a more modern game compared with uh, the last two. So if I just go to Options. And Display. Now, I tried this last night in 1920 by 1080, a uh, lot of lag in it, um, so I've kept with uh, 720p on this one, and it works fine, so everything, I believe, is pretty much turned to epic, which is the max settings for this one, and motion blur is on, which uh, can cause uh, a lot of lag at times, so it runs well with that. Uh, so if we go back and just go to continue. So yeah, pretty smooth. So as you can see, it's some spinning around, there's no lag or anything like that going on.
So that's separate space for you. And I just thought I'd do a video of my all-time favourite PC game, which was once an exclusive until it had really bad ports to the PS3 and Xbox 360. This is the original Far Cry. And uh, this game back in the day totally blew me away. So, yeah, of course, back in 2004, 2005, when this one came out, it was another one of those games where you would need a serious, serious uh, setup to achieve the native resolution you know everything else so i'm going to try this now and i'm going to go for a uh, maximum resolution and analyzing i'm going to go with eight samples and if i go to advanced options i'm going to make sure everything is very high trilinear anastrophic filtering level to eight particle count yeah, yeah. So everything is maxed out. So I'm going to just uh, start off from where I last uh, played from. I'm going to give you something uh, good to look at here. So if I just go from here and this is running the 64-bit uh, AMD patch I think it was when it came out and of course back in the day to run uh, a 64-bit processor that's a CPU to, to have one it was pretty uh, a, a big deal at the time So there you go, yeah, it's an old game, but this is natively playing how it was intended to do. So if you had this on lower settings, those birds you can see in the background, they wouldn't be there. Uh, you, you, you know, it looked pretty basic years ago if you had an average uh, PC. So another thing which blew me away when I did manage years ago to get this all running is that there are suddenly fish and there's bubbles. Now if you put this on lower settings, those little things aren't there. So you know, even to this day, I, I, maybe I'm a bit biased with this one. It's a special game to me. But I, I still think it's hoarded. Uh, it looks really well considering, uh, what is it, 16, 17 years old? And sort of in my early 20s, whilst at uni, you would find me in my spare time in my bedroom playing this. And I'd play this just relentlessly online on the multiplayer. Pretty much the only game I have bothered with online. So yeah, the AI, AI in this game, that's artificial intelligence, is a bit dumb considering what you've got nowadays, but it's still a challenging game. So yeah. I've not played this one for a while, but I'm not uh, trying to prove myself through gameplay. I'm just showing you uh, what can be achieved with this setup I've got. So yeah, that's Far Cry for you.